good morning good morning good morning and welcome 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 to kingdom transformation networks morning prayer i am your host coach shakira jones your spiritual midwife helping you to see you as jesus christ sees you here at kingdom transformation we are the bridge that connects identity purpose and destiny because when you know who you are you can passionately pursue purpose and when you passionately pursue purpose you can occupy the place called destiny here at kingdom transformation self-care is soul care when you take care of the very depths of your soul you can live the quality of life that jesus christ died for you to live third john 1 and 2 says beloved i wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. God wants us to enter into a realm of prosperity that we have not yet known because uh, we do work on our souls in order to bring ourselves into the very fullness of the promise of God. As we work out our salvation with fear and trembling, we're taking off the weights that we have uh, bore up until this point. And it is so important that you are unpacking the baggage of times past. That as you unpack the baggage, you walk into the fullness of the promise. How will you allow the grace of God that rests on your life this year to cause you to enter into doors that will otherwise close because you have unpacked some baggage that came with you in your soul? Your soul being your mind, your will, your emotions, your appetites, and your desires. God wants you to be freed up in order to fully serve him with every ounce of who you are. Many times the hurts and pains in our soul bring us to a place where we are enslaved to things of old. In 2022, as we allow God to touch us in a new way, we're going to remove those things that are looking to tie us to our past. To, to our past. Uh, and we're going to look for ways to walk on the ancient paths that God have carved out for us. We're going to look for the highway of holiness. We're going to allow the joy of the Lord to truly be our strength. We are going to allow him to minister unto us in a new way. Good morning, Wanda. And so as people of purpose, we have to position ourselves well in order to fully accept what it is that God is releasing to us in this season. And we came into 2022 on fire. We came in knowing that as we press in and as we pray, um, our fire prayers would ignite us in a new way in order for us to achieve some things that we would otherwise not be able to achieve. And so I'm excited about 2022 on all fronts because I know that God wants to do mighty things in the lives of his people. The word tells us that if we're willing and obedient, that we eat the good of the land. And so God wants us to partake in the good land that has been made available to us. But it's going to take us being secure in our identity in order to properly take care of the territory that has been assigned to us. And so we are now in this series after we came out of fire. We're in this series on identity security and we're walking through uh, my ebook, My Identity is Secure, Daughter of the King, 30-Day Devotional. And so... If you are a gentleman, you can still press in and pray with us um, as we press in. And I, I say things about daughters. Think about yourself as a son. Um, and so we are in this new series about identity security. And we're on day four of the devotional, but it is our fifth day um, of being in this book. And the very first day was all about us knowing who we serve, pressing in and praying about it being our very privilege to serve God, us pressing in and praying concerning being servants. Because many times we want to lead or we want to be seen in high positions, but it is a heart posture of servitude that brings us to a place where we can properly identify with God, where we can properly identify as those who belong to God because we are willing to serve in accordance with what he has asked. It was Jesus' willingness to serve his father, uh, to become a humble servant, to do what it was that his father longed for that demonstrated his love for the father. In this season, our desire to serve God is what is going to demonstrate our love for God. 
And so as we entered into this uh, first 10 days of the devotional, this particular section is about us knowing who we serve. God wants us to know who we serve in order for us to enter in and know who we are. And then when we know who we are, he wants us to be able to enter in and know the promises that belong to us. And so uh, on the very first day that we begin this, we pressed in about our service. And then on day one of the devotional, we prayed about um, God being good. And I told you to collect five scriptures about the goodness of God. And then on day two, we prayed about the God, the God that loves us. And we looked at um, John three sixteen, which is a very familiar passage of scripture. But I said, you know, let's not look at it from the lens that we're used to. But let's couple it with the five scriptures that you had uh, concerning God being loved. One of the things that the Spirit of the Lord has highlighted for me this year is that God commended his love towards us. And while we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us. John 3, 16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. And so I, I challenge you to look at that scripture from new lenses as you coupled it with your five scriptures uh, that spoke to you about God loving you. And then on day three, we looked at the God who fights for you. And we looked at it from the perspective of many times uh, we, we um, don't allow God to fight for us because um, the people in the natural realm who were supposed to fight for us didn't. And, and so we prayed concerning being able to give God an opportunity to fight for us and um, to, you know, break free from every strange voice that would bring us to a place uh, where we were distracted and not focused on the ways of God, not focused on the fight that God had concerning us. Um, and so we pressed in and, and prayed concerning that. And then I gave you some instructions on um, some things to pray about concerning words that you have spoken about seeing um, God as a God who fights for you. And so I'm prayerful that you have done that. And today is day four of the devotional text, but the fifth day that we have been in this. And today is all about us seeing God as our exceeding great reward, our exceeding great reward. So it is a day four in the devotional text, but day five of us being in this series. And our focal scripture comes from Genesis chapter 15, verse one. And it reads, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision saying, fear not Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Powerful warning. God is your exceeding great reward. In Genesis 15 and one, God told Abram that he was his exceeding great reward that promise applies to you today because God is the same yesterday today and forevermore Hebrews 13 and 8 as a seed of Abraham you now have access to all the promises Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 that God spoke over Abraham so what does it mean to have God as your exceeding great reward Reward is defined as a thing given in recognition of one's service, effort, or achievement. God was telling Abram that he didn't have to be concerned about anything if he committed himself to following in the ways of the Lord. God wanted to reward Abram with all of himself. God understood that if Abram received him as reward, he would have everything that he wanted and needed because in God there is nothing missing and nothing broken. God is the fullness of everything that we could ever desire. Powerful woman, have you allowed God to be your exceeding great reward? Have you been allowing God to be your recognition for all that you are doing? Or are you looking for a worldly reward for your efforts? God wants us to desire him because he knows all the benefits that he brings into the life of the believer. God is the one who dispenses increase. God is the one who dispenses joy and peace. God is the one who dispenses favor. God is the one who gives out honor. God is the one who can take you from being overlooked to standing before kings. God is the one who knows how to repay you for all that you have been through. Powerful woman, there was a time when I thought that I had to work excessively to truly advance in life. God began to shift my perspective and understanding 
of what it's like to serve the only one true wise and living God. He began to show me that if I was consistent with him in things concerning his kingdom and my personal spiritual walk with him, that he would reward me much more and much better than the world could ever reward me. I began to seek God and I saw him shift my life in ways that I never thought were possible, all because of my willingness to allow him to be my reward instead of looking for a reward outside of him. God himself as a reward is much better than anything you can get apart from God. Don't let momentary discomfort dissuade you from pursuing God. The momentary discomfort that you experience is nothing in comparison to the glory that is set before you. Romans 8.18 God wants to bless you really well by being your exceeding great reward. But you have to shift your perspective and allow God to be God. This means that you have to take him at his word. Do not allow your earthly experiences to dictate the relationship that you have with Jesus Christ. Do not allow the lies of the enemy to cause you to forfeit your exceeding great reward. I am going to pray the prayer starter and then I will pray as the Lord leads. Father, we know that your word is true because you cannot lie. Forgive us for the moments where we second guess your word or questioned your authenticity because of all that we have experienced in life. Father, we want to know you as our exceeding great reward. We want the blessings to fall that you promised to Abraham. Lord, we are the seed of Abraham, and we know that you are waiting to pour out your blessings upon our lives. We repent for treating you like a vending machine, only coming to you when it appears that you have something we want instead of abiding in you and knowing that you have and are more than we could ever dream of. Father, we repent for believing the lies of the enemy regarding your character. We repent for associating you with evil when there's nothing evil about you. Father, we ask that you take our perspective about you being our exceeding great reward and show us where it's been tainted. We want all that you have for us, and we know that's not possible unless we see you as you truly are. Lord, we want a relationship with you because we know that you have our best interest at heart. We want a relationship with you because we know that you love us better than we could ever love ourselves. Father, heal our hearts where they have been broken so we can receive you as our exceeding great reward. Lord, open our understanding concerning what it means to be rewarded in you. Lord, show us how we can live, move, and have our very being in you. Lord, show us how we can trust in you, depend on you, O oh God, and not be forsaken in this hour. Allow us to be a people, O oh God, who begin to appreciate you in new lights, O oh God, who allow the higher heights and deeper depths of your glory to become a part of what we are, are, are knowing you for, O oh God. Lord, let the spiritual blessings that have come upon our lives be evidence in every area of our lives. Lord, we thank you in the master name of Jesus for the fullness of your promises coming forth that we would know you as an exceeding great reward. Oh God, that we would see that you are not a God who does anything minimally, but you are a God who maximizes every area when you step into it. We thank you that you are the God of maximum potential and that in 2022, we step into the fullness of the promises that you have released over us. Lord, we thank you that when we begin to know you in a new light, oh Father God, we will see your hand upon us in ways that we have never seen it, oh God. That as the very seed of Abraham, we can experience your exceeding great abundance. We can experience those areas in our lives that once looked like they were dead being resurrected because of your very presence, because of our connection to you. And for that, we say thank you. Lord, we thank you that you are our exceeding great reward. That as we allow you uh, to bring benefits into our lives, we can see grace abound in new measures. And so we thank you for the rewards, oh Father God. We thank you for what you are filling us with, oh God. We thank you for your extravagance towards us, oh God. Lord, we thank you for your goodness, for your grace, for your mercy, for your love, for your truth, for your righteousness, and for your kindness, oh God. Lord, we repent, oh Father God. For the brokenness in our souls that would make us feel like you are not a good enough God to reward us well with yourself, oh God. Lord, every area in the depths of our soul that does not see you as a benefit, that does not see you as the one who gives us great things, oh Father God. 
recalibrate our vision oh god realign us oh father god and break open what needs to be broken open so we can begin to see in new ways oh god and so we thank you for the fullness of your promise on this morning oh god lord we thank you for your exceeding great reward oh father god lord allow us to be a people who dive deep into the rewards that you have dispensed into our lives because of our connection to you because of the prayers of those who have gone before us oh father god lord we thank you in the master name of jesus for touching our hearts and our minds in a new way oh father god lord that as you are our exceeding great reward you open up doors that no man can close and you close doors that no man can open as our exceeding great reward you lavish your love upon us oh father god as our exceeding great reward oh god you stop things oh father god that were sent to take us out as our exceeding great reward oh father god we have a companion in you that we can walk with you and we can talk with you as our exceeding great reward oh god we can be filled up until we overflow oh father god as our exceeding great reward oh father god we don't have to be hindered or tricked out of our inheritance, oh, Father God. But we can trust in you with all of our heart, leaning not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, acknowledging you that you would direct our path. Lord, as our exceeding great reward, we can come to you, no matter how small or how big the situation, and you will show up on our behalf. All we have to do is trust you. And so as our exceeding great reward, you give us the treasure of trust, oh, God. And so today we say every place where our trust has been dashed, oh, God, where our hopes have been failed, oh, Father God. We're asking that you as our reward make it better, oh, Father God. That you as our reward make a difference, oh, Father God. Lord, where we have felt like we have missed it, oh, God. Where we have felt like... The promises that you have released have not been yes and amen revealed to us the brokenness in our souls that is holding us back from truly obtaining what belongs to us. That on this morning, oh Father God, we can engage as a people who are being purified and sanctified in this very moment. As a people who are partaking in your divine nature because you're our exceeding great reward. You exceed anything beyond our wildest imagination, beyond our wildest dreams because of the investment that you made in us. And so on this morning, morning oh father god we are asking you to heal us where we have been broken we are asking you in the master name of jesus to touch us so we can see clearly on this morning oh god lord where our vision has been distorted we're asking for restoration of vision in a new way we're asking you to launch us into areas of father god that we didn't even know we could be launched in because you are our exceeding great reward lord we thank you in the master name of jesus for touching us oh father god touch us touch us oh father god in a new way that peace would come out of us in this hour oh god where we have been disturbed where we have been uneasy oh god well, we have felt like um, um, the fickleness in our soul would bring us to a place where we would be devastated in this hour. We're just thanking you for the newness that belongs to us. And so on this morning, oh God, we're asking that the fickleness that we have become accustomed to would be utterly destroyed, oh God. That we would become a people of consistency because you are our exceeding great reward. That as we pour out our hearts before you, oh Father God, we can allow you to adjust what has been broken. And so we thank you, oh God, that you're not like men oh god that you're not like women that we have encountered but you are the god who truly loves us and truly embraces us oh god and we are asking that you purify us in such a way that we become your image oh father god that we begin to reflect you in every area of our lives oh god that we would be reminded that you are not a reflection of us, but we are a reflection of you. And that you are our exceeding great reward. That we can take delight in being rewarded by a God who is honest. You are so trustworthy, oh God. And when you say you're going to do something, we can take it to the bank. We can believe that as you say you're going to do something for us, it will come to pass. And so we thank you. For the excellency of your reign in our lives, oh God. Lord, that we would begin to experience your reign, your rulership in a new way on today, oh Father God. That as we allow you to rule and reign in our lives, we will begin to see results that we have never seen before. And so today we shed the heart and hearts that we have, oh God. The heart and hearts that say that we can't get anything good from God. Lord, the heart and hearts that say that you are a God who is angry with us. And in your anger, oh Father God. 
and you are judging us without hearing our case but we thank you that that is not our portion oh father god but you are a loving father you are the god who loves us more than we could ever love ourselves and so on this morning oh god we're asking that you show us how to love ourselves differently because you are our exceeding great reward that you show us how to love you differently because you are our exceeding great reward lord that in the depths of our soul where fear has been voicing out to bring us to a place where we disrespect and dishonor you we say no more on this morning oh god but we say we will see you as one who is to be honored we will see you as one who is to be embraced we will see you as one who is to be loved we will see you as one who is to be treasured and so on this morning we see you as a beauty uh, 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 for ashes, oh Father God, we see you as our exceeding great reward, and so we thank you. We thank you. We enter into your courts with thanksgiving and into your gates with praise, and we just thank you on this morning for being present, oh God, for you are a present help in the time of trouble. You are our exceeding great reward. You are present, oh God. In the areas where we have not seen your presence, where we have not noticed uh, a you operating in our lives, we repent, O oh God, and we say, open our eyes where they have been blinded, O oh God. Open our ears that we might hear you, O oh God, and shut our mouths that we might be slow to speak, O oh Father God. Slow to anger, that we might be a people who are full of repentance in this hour, O oh Father God. And so we thank you that because you are our exceeding great reward, we are experiencing your goodness and that it is your goodness that brings us to repentance, O oh God. Lord, it's your goodness that when we are introduced to it, O oh God, it changes the trajectory of our lives. And so we thank you, O oh God for altering our paths that as you translated us from darkness into your marvelous light we begin to be a people who sought your heart oh father god who sought what you wanted to give us and so we thank you oh father god for preserving us for preserving us to be able to carry out the plans and purposes that you preordained and you predestined before the world's refrain we thank you that as our exceeding great reward your hand was strong upon us to keep us up oh father god that you have even given your angels charge over us lest we dash our foot against the stone because you are our exceeding great reward that no longer with the cares of this world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life bring us to a place where we are distracted but we thank you in the master name of jesus that we are holding fast to the truth of your word that we are holding fast to the grace that you are dispensing over us because as our exceeding great reward you are giving us everything we need you are giving us all that we want oh father god that you are the god who gives us what our hearts desire and so on this morning oh god our hearts are desiring more of you but many times it's not showing up in that manner but we thank you oh father god that as you are purifying us as you are sanctifying us as you are bringing us into the wholeness that is our portion of father god we will begin to see what it is that you are calling out of us that we won't go back to it like dogs to our vomit lord that we wouldn't be overwhelmed by the cares of this world oh god lord that the cares of this world wouldn't take us out that worldliness that was looking to distract us and to distort our vision is no longer a match for us because we allow you to be the guiding force in our lives we allow you to be the principled one we allow you to be the head oh father god that as our headship we become the head and not the tail that we are above only and never beneath oh father god that we become lenders and not borrowers in the name of jesus that we become the people who everything our hands touch prosper that we begin to see you as the god who gives us the ability to get wealth oh god that everything that belongs to us come from you that we become truly the sheep of your pasture that we truly become a people who can walk in agreement with your word oh father god that we walk on one accord with you that we become a people who are unified in you and the divisive tactics of hell are no longer operating in the depths of our soul so where division has come to bring us to a place a failure sabotage and destruction we break its hold oh father god and we deny it access to the corridors of our lives because we call you our exceeding great reward no longer will we be rewarded with deceptive tactics of hell 
and fleeting moments, oh Father God. But we thank you in the master name of Jesus that our reward comes from a hearty place. Our reward comes from a stable place. Our reward comes from a gracious place. Our reward comes from a loving place. And so on this morning, oh God, we thank you for your love and your tender mercies. We thank you that you are the great I am who establishes us, that when we receive you as our exceeding great reward, establishment is our portion, O oh Father God. Lord, that when the winds and the waves come and beat upon our house, we are able to still stand, O oh Father God, because you are our exceeding great reward. Lord, you are the one who makes a way out of no way. And so we thank you, O oh Father God, for the ability to trust in you. Lord, where our hearts have not safely trusted in you, reveal, O oh Father God, well, we have believed the lies and devastating words, oh, Father God, that have swept us into areas and arenas you never called us to. Oh, God, reveal it unto us that we will be rebuilt in this season, that we will be a people, oh, Father God, who allow you to do the mighty works on the inside of us that are necessary in order to bring us into greatness. You, oh, God, are our exceeding great reward. And since you are our exceeding great reward, oh, Father God, we allow you to impact us mightily on today, oh, Father God, and in the days to come. Lord, we are thanking you for our provision because you are our exceeding great reward. We thank you, oh, Father God, that we don't have to beg, oh, Father God, but things are released to us. We are a people of favor because you are our exceeding great reward, and we begin to see you that way, oh, Father God. Lord, uh, show us how to picture the parental unit as a reward to their children, oh, Father God, as a reward, oh, God, that children are, are, are able to be rewarded with great parents, oh, Father God. Lord, we bless you in the master name of Jesus, oh, Father God, for what you are doing in our hearts and in our minds because many times we don't see parental units and father figures, oh, Father God, as rewards, but we thank you in this hour, that you reward us by helping to build us up, to train us in the way that we should go, oh, Father God. So when we're old, we won't depart from it, oh, God. And so we thank you, oh, God, for rewarding us with the corrective arm of who you are, oh, God. Lord, that as we are being corrected, we are seeing the reward of your correction showing up in our lives, oh, God. Lord, that we wouldn't despise your correction, oh, God. But as sons, we would appreciate it. We would appreciate what you are doing, what you are speaking over us, and where you are taking us to, oh, God. Lord, we will begin to appreciate the grace, the mercy, and the truth. We will begin to appreciate how you are aligning us in the words that you are um, saying over us, oh God. Lord, we will begin to see you as our exceeding great reward, the one that blesses us with all spiritual blessings, the one who releases open doors concerning us, oh God, that no longer will we feel like we're getting closed doors from you, but we will see opportunity after opportunity because we trust in you, oh, Father God. Lord, that the wickedness of our soul will not bring us to a wayward place, but we will begin to collaborate with you as the co-laborers that you have called us to, that we will see you as our exceeding great reward, the one who teaches us and tells us about things that are to come, oh, God, that you are our exceeding great reward, that you have already gone into our future, oh, God, to secure it. Lord, we thank you in the master name of Jesus that you are our exceeding great reward and that the cross demonstrated it oh god that we were reinstated right into back into right alignment because you are our exceeding great reward oh god teach us how to appreciate and how to appropriate what you have given us into our lives so we can say i know who i serve oh god that as the god that we serve we will begin to see that in us serving you as our exceeding great reward, we receive more, oh God. We receive more because you are our exceeding great reward that we will get, begin to see abundance flow from you, oh Father God, because you are the land that flows with milk and honey, oh God. Lord, you are the one who causes us to lay down in green pastures, oh God. You cause us to have more than enough and the things that were fragmented in our lives, you cause us to see a greater picture. And so for that, we say thank you, oh God. Lord, we thank you that there is nothing that can separate us from you, not death, not life, not angels, not principalities, not things present, nor things to come, oh God. And those things that we come up against, oh Father God, we thank you that they will not take us out, but they will bring us into the reward that you have promised us. And so we thank you that we begin to agree with you in a new way on today, oh God, that as we agree with you in a new way on today, oh Father God, we will be filled up in areas where we have felt depleted. Oh God, you are our exceeding great reward, so we are asking you 
you to fill us up with yourself, oh Father God. For your word says that if we abide in you and you abide in us, oh God, that we will ask what we will and we shall have it. That we become the examples, the very living epistles read of men that you have called us to, oh Father God. That we become the people who rightly divide the word of truth because you are our reward. That as you open up the mysteries of your scripture, oh God, we will begin to see our connection and our relationship with you as something mightier then we're used to, oh, Father God, that the relationship currency that we receive from you is something that is unmatched, oh, Father God. And so we thank you in the master name of Jesus that we are cloaked in your righteousness and we are called by your name that you as our God are our exceeding great reward and aside from you there is no other Lord we thank you for rewarding us with your presence oh God because in your presence is fullness of joy oh Father God at your right hand are pleasures forevermore and so we thank you oh God for our lives being filled with pleasure because of our connection to you because you are the God who rewards us oh God and any place where Pleasure has been perverted in our lives. Let it be made purified and holy in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Let us enter in and engage as a people who know that you are the God who rewards us, O oh God. You are the God who takes care of us, O oh God. You are the God who strengthens us, O oh God. For it is your joy that is our strength. And as we begin to see you as the God who rewards us, we will begin to see that anything that looks different did not come from your throne of grace. And so on this morning, O oh God, we thank you for every prayer promise we thank you oh god for just the newness that is being ushered in oh father god as we partake in your presence so we thank you for uh, a new insight into the love that you release over us new insight into the joy that you are calling us to oh god new insight into what you're calling us to build and new ways that you're calling us to see ourselves oh god that when we take you on as our exceeding great reward we will get lenses that we could otherwise not have and so we place on the lenses of grace on this morning oh god we put on the lenses of mercy we put on the lenses of compassion oh god we put on the lens of strength oh god we put these on as our rewards oh father god for being a people who step into you we put on the lenses of life oh god lord we put on the lenses that you are releasing from heaven oh father god that we can partake in the miraculous realm that you are calling us to lord we call in miracle signs and wonders because it's our portion because of our connection to you we call in the ability to speak in new tongues oh god we say our gifts make room for us and they place us before kings and not before mean men because you are our exceeding great reward. Lord, we thank you for favor, oh Father God unfathomable favor doors opening oh father god lord we thank you for giving us the keys to the kingdom oh god that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven oh father god lord we thank you in the name of jesus for you exceeding our expectations oh father god and that as you are our exceeding great reward we lay our expectations at your feet and we allow you to purify them and sanctify them in the name of jesus that this very day we become who you called us forth to be oh god God, and we rise up as warriors, O oh God, ready to take territory for your kingdom, O oh God. We rise up as those who administer justice, O oh Father God. We rise up as those whose identities has been solidified in you oh god we rise up as those who carry out the call the plans and purposes that you have released concerning us we rise up as those who trust you oh god we rise up as those who are defended by you oh god we rise up as those who are loved well by you oh god and we just thank you for new grace and new mercy oh god we thank you for new grace and new mercy oh god we thank you for new grace and new mercy on this morning oh father god and we say any place where we have not accepted your new grace and your new mercy oh father god we're repenting in the name of jesus and we are stepping into what is ours on today we remove the heavy weights and the burdens that tell us to repel your goodness your grace and your mercy we say no more in the name of jesus but we step into our promises we step into our exceeding great reward we step into the abundance that is ours we step in in the name of jesus Thank you, O oh God, for being our exceeding great reward and for opening our hearts and our minds to see you in a new way today. Lord, we thank you for grace, mercy, and truth. In Jesus' name, amen. So on today, as we see God as our exceeding great reward, we really want to unpack the rewards that he has released to us. 
And so as you go throughout today, I want you to ask God about the rewards that have come because of your association with him, because of the rewards that have come because you have allowed him to touch your heart and your mind. What are the rewards that have been experienced that you didn't even know uh, you were experiencing? And so I want you to go through and ask the Lord um, that today. Now, today is Friday, so I pray that you have a blessed weekend. Uh, but we're going to be back on Monday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we look at God as our shield and our buckler. As we um, see him and in this protective capacity, uh, because many times, you know, we don't see him as the guy who fights for us. So we don't understand what it means for him to be our shield and our buckler. But as we allow um, God to really uh, recode us in this season so we can say, I know who I serve. We will allow him to speak to us about him being our shield and our buckler. And so be sure to bring somebody with you um, on Monday morning as we enter in and as we engage. Uh, but if you are on the Facebook and you have a prayer request or a praise report, send it to me. I want to press in. I want to pray with you. You are so welcome. And, and if you are on the clubhouse, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, raise your hand and I will bring you up as we uh, press in and pray concerning that. But I'm looking forward to seeing you on Monday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we engage and we see God in a new way. All right. I'll see you soon, Facebook. Bye-bye. Right.